do not ever cast a spell on somebody or place a curse on somebody hello everyone you are welcome back in today's video i'm going to be telling you why you should not cast a spell the dangers of casting a spell the disadvantages of casting a spell or placing a curse in case you are new here for the first time you are so welcome my name is pamela so on this channel i share messages a lot go through my videos you see lots of videos that will help you greatly you share the topic anyone that you feel that you need check it out watch the video and try to follow along by the grace of god you will see things working for you perfectly make sure you subscribe like this video share this video let's go so i'm going to tell you the dangers like i said earlier there are many dangers that comes with placing a curse on someone or casting a spell on someone there is something we call the choosing or what bible calls a choosing a choosing is someone that god has designed or god has anointed to do a particular thing for him it may be preaching the gospel it may be evangelism it may be telling people to turn to god it may be in a way of healing there are so many things there are so many ways you can also call a choosing messengers of god so if you are the type that you cannot do without placing a cause anything that comes out of your mouth is a cause a cause you have to be aware watch what comes out of your mouth because it can really bring bad luck to you it can reverse back to you if care is not taken Another thing is casting a spell. This is not only for a chosen. Casting a spell generally on anyone. Just continue watching to see the dangers of placing a curse on anybody or casting a spell on anybody. A spell is an incantation. It's also an enchantment or a magical formula. There are so many spells. While a curse is the calling of a harm or injury on someone. Calling by enchanting by doing all manner of incantations you call it on somebody so that that thing will harm that person that is a cause you see the differences two of them are not good make sure you check my previous videos like two videos i explained signs you are under demonic spell how to know that someone has cast a spell upon you how to know that you are under a curse many people they don't know that they are under a curse please watch that video check my videos if you see it you can see it on the screen i'm displaying the thumbnail for you to see it so that it will be very easy for you to find it then i've also shared how to break yourself free from causes placed upon you or any spell placed upon you make sure you watch those videos it will help you greatly so many people cast a spell maybe for their own advantage they cast it because they know they will gain a lot from it just for their selfish reasons they don't care if it's going to harm you or not like I said in my previous video, there's always a consequences that comes along with spell. It can be to you, it can be to the person that you cast it upon. You may be doing it, enjoying it because you will not lose. It will be very, very harmful to that person you claim you love. The disadvantages of casting a spell, especially love spell, is that the person you cast that spell upon may end up hating you more than before. If is just neutral and you just want to do a spell for that person to love you more than the way you love him or her this may backfire in a way that the person may start hating you instead you and the person energy may not be the same there's what we call energy you and the person spirit is not also the same so you doing it it may bring trouble to you and when the person start hating you you may not be able to reverse it so you have to be very, very careful when you are thinking about wanting to cast a spell upon anybody. Love spell, just be careful. So another one is that it may backfire. This is love spell I'm talking about. It may backfire to you in a way that you will be the one loving this person. Like you'll be the one loving and loving. The person will just stay. Like you want to prove yourself. You want to, you know that situation is not funny. This is not natural at all when you are the one loving and loving over loving the way it will be doing you like so much you end up loving this person that is another disadvantage so think about it before you cast a spell so another one is that if it works out even if it works out and the person start liking you and the person start loving you it may bring bad luck to that person you cast it upon 
there are dangers that will come along with it. The person is not working in his or her right senses. Take note, it's not natural. You have to allow it to be natural. If you cast a spell upon somebody and the person starts loving you too much, like loving you like a crazy, then you have to know that there's something that has been removed from that person. The person can never be normal. In the place of work, the person will not perform well. Anything the person is doing will always be going down, going down. Bad luck, setback, disappointments, delay. It brings so many things, so many disasters. So if you know that you love this person, do not ever cast a spell because you will end up hating this person and you may not be able to reverse it. If the person was very rich, the person will start receiving troubles in the place of work. Money will be going, poverty will be coming. We still love this person. So you have to take note of all this because you may not be able to reverse it back. So for those placing courses, you cannot just stay a day without laying courses upon anybody due to anger, due to jealousy, due to any way or due to wickedness. If you are the type that or you know anybody that cannot do a day or any week, any month, placing a course upon anybody, you have to know that there are dangers as well. It may backfire to you, especially when you do it to someone that is spiritually active, like someone that is always prayerful, someone that has the presence of God inside him or her. If you place a course, it will go back to you, like it will just go back to the person that placed that course. And you know what that means? Anything you wishes that person to come back to you, it may be irreversible. When you place a curse, especially when you place a curse upon your loved one due to anger, you place a curse upon your children due to anger, it may be irreversible. So just check it out, no matter how angry you are. Calm down, walk towards it because you may place it upon someone that is very close to you and the person will start having troubles. You may not be able to reverse it back. You may end up killing that person, yes. If that cause is so heavy on that person, in that person's life, cause is spiritual. If the person cannot carry it, the person may just go. You end up committing murder. Check my videos on how to get rid of causes you place upon somebody or the one that somebody has. So beware who you place a cause upon and also know that it may reverse back to you. Knowing that it can reverse back to you, it's time for you to think and be careful what you say with your mouth. If you are doing spell, just think about this. Watch this video. Make sure you watch the video to the end to know if you should go on or not. May God bless you. So make sure you check those videos I just mentioned and go through it and do not forget to share this video. Subscribe in case you have not. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Also share this video. I will see you in my next video.